stuff is in line with a lot of things that I ladies ministered about on last uh, month. As a matter of fact, uh, the last message that I did uh, in August uh, was uh, don't be conformed. You remember that? Don't be conformed, but be ye transformed. Yeah. Tracy message was about transformation. Amen. 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 So we, we, own, we own that thing about God doing something in our life and that transformation thing that God is, is doing in all of our life. But for God to do it, there must be some transformation. Amen. Amen. Come on, say it. For God to do it. For, for God, God to do it, it. There must be transformation. Yeah, there must, must be, be transformation. transformation. There has to be some movement, which was a great part of all of our women's month was about step up, get up, and move. And so one of the things that if you're going to level up your life, then you got to be moving or changing. And so we define level up when we started this series uh, making moves or changes to make your life better. Amen. So one of the things that we, we, we are learning is that in order to make my life better, I got to make some changes. Amen. 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 If, you, if you don't make no changes, then life stays the same. Amen. So you got to make some moves to make some, some changes. And uh, uh, it's really important that we do that. So you got to do life different. Amen. Amen. You got to make decisions differently. And one of the things that, that you got to become new, we talked about that. You got to become a, a, that new person. And some people don't believe it, but the scripture clearly tells us if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. New creature. You become new. There's a possibility to be new. I can say this, that God has worked on me to change even my personality. I was a feisty fighter. Amen. Amen. And now people say I'm too passive. Because God can change your personality. Amen. God can change your personality. But you got to be ready to change and make moves. Amen. Amen. How do we know we need to level up? Well, if we are not producing the best life. And I want us to be sure that we understand about a best life. Because typically, when people talk about I'm living my best life, they're thinking about what they possess. Mm -hmm. But I want to tell you that the scripture clearly says that life does not consist of what a man possesses. I'll tell you this. If you think your best life is what you possess, then you in for a rude awakening. Because life will show up in all your possessions and knock right, you down. Right, it's, that's not where life is. That, that's not your best life. Your best life is being connected to a God that loves you unconditionally and you follow what he tells you to do. Amen. Amen. So, so how do we know when we are living our best life? Uh, and, and we so want, we want it. We want our best life. Amen. Amen. Let me tell y'all something. I did an interview last week. I interviewed on my job, I just interviewed people that came to the job. I interviewed people that um, that that work at the place. So I interviewed about uh, right at 30 people. I did an interview. Uh, I interviewed black. I interviewed white. I interviewed male, and I interviewed female. And the interview question was this: Is this what two things that you could do that would make your life better? What two things that you can do that will make your life better? And I had a lot of, a lot of different answers, and then some were, were, were relatively same. And, and one of them that was a repeated one was this, is that one thing I would do is, is man, I would spend more time with my family. Mm. About 36% of the responses, in the, which was the highest, was that I would spend more time with my family. Another one uh, that was pretty high was that I would manage my money bill. Right. What was was pretty high up there. And and then there, there were there were there were some some other ones and, and one of them stood out to most to me that about three people out of that group said is that I would deal with the demons that I have. 
One of them called them demon, one called them issues, and one called them a four letter word that I choose not to. <laughs> <laughs> and so when I asked each one of them in the interview, the final part of the survey said, do you know what to do to fix what you need to get better? And 80% of them said yes. So the survey question said, do you, if there was two things that you could do, do you, do you know what, what you could do? And then the other part of it was, do you know what to do to get it done? And 80% of them said, listen to me, I know what to do, but I'm just not doing it. Now, I, I specifically not, didn't ask nobody at church, because I didn't want nobody to think that Pastor, Pastor Roddy get up there, he's going to preach about me. He's going to preach about me. So I, I didn't want to ask nobody at church, because I didn't want nobody to think that Pastor Roddy be preaching at you. But, but I'm, of the, I'm of the belief is that most people know what they need to do to make their life better, Amen. but we choose not to do it. We're choosing, we're, we're choosing, we're choosing. When I say level up, it get us excited, but nobody want to level up. Amen. When we talk about working in our best life, everybody want to work in their best life, but nobody want to do it. Amen. So we want to talk a little bit today about, again, about leveling up. Come on, say level up. Level up. So, so you, can, you, can, you can't expect God to level up life if we're still functioning in our old ways. Amen? Amen? Come on, if I want my life to become better, then I gotta get rid of some of my old ways. Because a lot of our old ways is what keeps us stranded. Or watch this, we sung about freedom this morning, right? right. Amen. Amen. We talk freedom, free. Some of our old ways are what keep us in bondage. All right. So you can sing the song, but until you become actively doing something about it, you still gonna find yourself. We were we we were watching Django. Right? That's the Django. That's the Django, and the, and he had got them all in. Uh, he had got people free, and and as he got them free, uh, at the end of the movie, they were they were in this little. Uh, uh, in his little cage, uh -huh. and he had unlocked the door, and it was it was two men in the cage, and the door was unlocked, and he said, "You free," and they just continued to sit in the cage. Mm -hmm. And some of us, God has made us free, Amen. Amen. but we keep sitting in the cage. Come on, somebody. Right. So we 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 gotta accept that we are free. And then function as we're free. Amen? Amen. Right. Amen. So we got to function as we are free. So let's look at a few scriptures today uh, that, that we can, 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 can start uh, growing as we should. Because we got to get rid of old ways. Let's, let's, let's turn to uh, scripture, our next scripture right there. 